Lions TV, full time from Kenilworth Road, Pete. Luton won, Mill won. Mixed reviews from the fans. I'm not sure where I stand on it. Uh, I'm still an Aris out advocate, to be honest with you. Um, the uh, first start with the game was shocking performance. Nothing, no effort, nothing going on whatsoever. And like judging by the fans' reaction at half time, never heard that before from Mill fans. Neil, Neil Aris out, chance and all that. No one was happy half time. Second half, yes, it was an improvement. Um, got the ball out wide, a little bit better. We got the goal. Um, again, I always knew that we was going to concede a goal tonight. Our goalkeeper made three worldly saves tonight, yeah. kept us in the game because we could have easily lost that three or four one. Um, they they was a better team again tonight, and um, sorry, I just don't think it's good enough again. Do you know what I mean, mate? I agree. There was a chance of Harris out at half time. It, it nearly turned nasty there at one point. Boring, boring Harris. As I've said many a time on, on my on personal videos when I do them alone, and I think that's been echoed tonight by the Millwall fans. We don't expect to win many games, but we expect the fucking team to turn up and put in a meal performance and battle. We just we just sit back and allow teams to play. We've got no ideas going forward. And, um, you know, in the second half, we did improve. Uh, as you said, Bolkowski kept in it. We could have been 2-3-0 down. It wasn't for him. Second half, we improved. We, we, we got on the overlap. We, we was quick, pop, quick interchange passing. We did get balls into the box. We still wasn't great, but there was a grit and a determination about the team that lifted the fans. There was a bit. I, I see it in Leonard. About the 60th minute, he made a, a challenge. And there was more up for it in the second yeah. half. I think, I think that's got a lot to do with the crowd's reaction at half-time. Yeah. Now that wound them up because we was all scaring like Neil Harris out, Neil Harris out. And they thought, you know, they've got to come out and battle for the manager, which they did. In all fairness, they did second half. But to me, it still weren't good enough. Again, if you look at the amount of passes that they made compared to us. I think their possession again was, was again, massive. Was, again, yeah, again, that they had massive, massive more possession. They was better than us in every department. Um, to me, again, it's not good enough. And I, and I just think, the players are just not putting their fault. Yeah, the second half, they've done it for about 30 minutes, granted. Yeah, but I always see the equaliser was coming. Yeah. Um, Tom was good tonight, Tom Bradshaw. Yeah. Loved the way he worked his socks off. Um, but as the rest of them, I'm not, I'm not really too sure. But the thing I think that everyone's like, getting on everyone's nerves is Neil's post-match comments about uh, the game, about how good the other team, the opposition are, mm. what quality they've got, what they've got this and they've got that. And we can't... We, can't, but we have to compete in this division. We're in this division for a reason because we deserve to be there. Mm. All this, like, bigging up the other teams, I'm fed up with it. Mm. And I think all the fans, he calls us delusional. I think, Neil, you're delusional. The, the comments you come out after the game. I just think you've got to start big us up, Red Yeah, you're right. He, he'll, he'll, say, he'll say, you know, we, we did this to nullify them and this, that. We never let other teams worry about us. We always worry about them. And as um, someone said, you know, with the season we finished eighth, first season back in the championship, we didn't worry about who the fuck we was playing. We just went for it. And it's that second half, half an hour in that second half, showed that we have still got it in there. So, you know, I think Neil Harris will point to, hang on, and it, it'll be like a pig and shit tonight against the fans against people like me and maybe rightly so maybe we are being too harsh two games in a row two away games in a row uh, and we're, you know, we're still unbeaten two, two draws but I still think paper over the cracks right well listen judging by the second half performance the last 30 minutes we got it in the locker we have got it in the locker but for some reason he's stopping them playing that way why at the first start we've done that and then the second half we come out we're all over him we play really good football knocking the ball about brilliant it's best I've seen all season yeah um, you start so a game like that, we, what, we win easily. What exactly? Just go for it. Go, don't be frightened of no one. Go for it. Take the shackles off them, Neil. Let them go. Let them go for the other team. Let them go and get get the players down the wing. Just play football. Mm. I think like I, said, I think Lee said it before about letting O'Brien and Bradshaw play, so we ain't got to do the long ball over the top all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? End of day, it's a point. Um, Harrison or out? It's definitely out, mate. It's definitely out. Hundred percent out. I'm not. It's, it's, it's gone too far now and I think the fans have turned the night um, and I think I still think we're going to beat Leeds on Saturday because we always beat them mugs anyway so <laughs> but I'm mate.